so I'm just in my balcony reflecting on my devotion this morning my devotion really struck something inside of me really 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 like really and i think it's because it spoke to everything that i would have gone through in the last year and what it said is that at the first sign of discomfort we begin to doubt god's voice and we doubt his will for our life and we doubt this is me going on to say because this is this was my experience we doubt that we are actually walking in his will for our life and the devotion said that sometimes our discomfort is because we move out of timing and then there are times our discomfort is part of god's will for our life that is what i was just reflecting on because we've gone through so many different things throughout this journey of transitioning from leaving trinidad and coming back to st lucia and i can only say now that it was part of god's will because there were certain things that god wanted from and i'm talking for myself because i can't talk for german in this respect there are certain things that god wanted from me that he could have only got from me if i was alone if i was stripped of everything hi he could have only got it from me if i was alone and if i was stripped of everything that once encompassed release the business my 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 roles and responsibilities in church the other things that i was involved in other outreach outreach groups that i was involved in outside of church i was too busy for god and he needed me to just spend time with him for him to minister certain things to me to cause transformation in my life i'm really not the same person i was a year ago and i thank god for my season of discomfort and i just want to encourage you you know maybe just like me you're feeling sh stuck alone because that's how i felt i felt worthless i felt felt unaccomplished because i was doing nothing i felt like i had no purpose because i came from doing so much to just doing nothing i felt as though this place really wasn't for me and that we made a mistake no matter how many confirmations that i got i still felt in that season being physically here i still felt that we made a mistake I don't feel that way anymore that's because of the time that i spent with god allowing him to show me that this is what you needed and it's easy for us to just want to be in our comfort zone it's easy for us to want to be in a place where we like it and it it, it gratifies our emotions and all of our desires and all of what we belong for or it's easy for us to go back to the old thing but God wants to do a new thing in us that may require a season of discomfort. And you know, sometimes when you are going through your season, you may think that you're not obeying God's voice because things are topsy-turvy. But don't let that distract you. When you are obeying God's voice, when you are walking in His will, situations will arise because we all know this life that we live is not all roses and fresh flowers and beauty there are stumbling blocks there are roadblocks and when you face those roadblocks they teach you and they strengthen you while you remain in the will of god and that was my season and that's why i'm i'm just here just thinking about it you know and and let's let's think about it if mary had said you know what i don't want to do this because i cheated on my fiance what will my fiance see i don't want to do this anymore if she had said that where would this world have been today we don't know we don't know what the outcome of our world would be if joseph had said you know what mary forget you how would have this story turned how would that have affected us and it just made me thinking if i had just picked up and left and just say you know what forget that all of the things that god has lined up for me in the future in ministry in life all of the people that would be saved because of my investment into their life think about it there are people who need you but in order for you to be effective 
and in order for you to to really give into their life as you are supposed to give there is a process that you have to go through in order for you to be able to share and minister and effectively just be real with people there's a process that you need to go through and there's a pruning that god needs to do in you so that in the fullness of time your ministry and your service will be worthwhile i encourage you to be obedient i encourage you that even though this may be an incom uncomfortable season for you press through because you don't know who's going to be saved because you sacrificed and pushed through despite your feelings this christian work is not about us we are just vessels that need to be used by God and in order to do so, we have to go through certain things to be effectively used by Him.